Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today's video we are going to talk about the Erg Mountain hike. Uh, close I guess between Prince George and McBride right near the sort of Crescent Spur area. A really difficult trail you can see here on the screen. A little description here from the Caledonia Ramblers Hiking Club um, and they rate this one as 8 to 10 hours very strenuous elevation gain of 14 1,415 meters um, and it's a long day you know for us it's uh, for me and and my hiking partner Lucas it took us I don't know, I think about nine hours but there was a lot of bushwhacking and mistakes that we made because it's both of our first time on the trail and hopefully with the information I give here I will save you guys some time and help your experience be a very pleasant one so with that said, let's uh, start off by taking a look at Google Earth. So here's Google Earth. This is Highway 16, this yellow highway here. There is this logging road um, that goes down here. I can't remember if this is Tarmgan Creek or what. I forget the name of the logging road. But uh, anyway, it's, it's well known. There's coordinates. Uh, I'll give some of that later in the description. But uh, you can see here when we zoom in, so depending on the information that you have about this road, um, I have this sort of trail head, this blue um, line here is the actual trail itself and there's pictures here. And you'll notice when you go down this road, there's a lot of washouts. I have a video showing the drive in and the drive back. Um, once upon a time, this road was washed out at least it was at this point this road closed and and pictures of anyway yeah pictures of the road being washed out it's not washed out at this point anymore so you're going to drive all the way from the highway to pretty close to the trailhead down here now what i'm going to do in just a minute here i'm going to show you a video so i drove down this road and it's kind of hard to see this on Google Maps, but at some point, somewhere around here, or maybe it was like around here. I think it was right around here. The road kind of looks like it continues that way, but then there's a road that forks to the right. And one critical thing that you need to know about this trail is this is uh, Ptarmigan Creek coming through here, and you have to cross it. And you're going to find a place to cross over the creek where there's log jams. And the log jams mostly are up here, and there might be some down here, but they're not around the area where the trailhead is, and that's a problem. You see this area here. Um, to get across, you uh, to get across, you need to find that log jam. But the problem is, once you get across, you kind of get lost in the brush on this side. And how to find that trail? Well, take a good look at this. Really what you need to do is when you cross the creek, you need to head south, down creek, until you see, I'm going to show you, until you see this wooden thing. So you're going to see this wooden thing. Uh, it's on the other side of uh, Tarmgan Creek. So when you cross the creek, um, you're going to be probably much up creek from this where the logs are. This log jam wasn't, it's not, you're not going to be able to cross here. So you're going to follow the creek bed until you see this wooden thing. And then right around this wooden thing, you'll see the trail somewhere there. Right across from the trail, you'll see the road on the, the other side of the creek, and you'll know that's where the trail is. And it's a pretty well worn out trail. So again, when you cross the creek, if you go up, up river then make sure you hike down river after you've crossed to you see this wooden thing and the trail is very close to that it's actually a little bit down creek from this wooden structure 
Now the ca the cable here, it's no longer there. This picture is like 10 years old. It's the only thing I could have could find online, but this wooden structure is still there. Okay, so let's talk about another important thing. So I have a video that I will have uh, tied into this video showing the drive in and the drive back. There comes this fork uh, on Tarmigan Creek Road where I went straight and there's like some trees that have fallen here and somebody chainsawed it so you could get through there. I drove down there uh, just a little ways and parked there. But you see this road that goes to the right? I have a feeling that this road that goes to the right at the end of that is where you're going to see that wooden structure and right across the creek from that is where the trailhead is. Because if you go this way straight ahead, you're up creek from the trailhead. And that's important to note because it's going to be very hard to find the trailhead unless you navigate downstream until you hit that. Now, with that said, I'm going to just play a little clip. I'll have the full video attached, but let's just take a look here. Here I am driving and coming right about here is where that fork is. So I'm like, okay, I went straight, but you could have went to the right. And I think going there, you could park your car and the trailhead's over there. Again, you're going to have to go up creek in order to cross, or maybe there's logs downstream. I don't know, but I just wanted to point that out about that fork and what else did I have here so there's a picture of that wooden structure here's another close-up of it that's what you're looking for the trailhead is just a little bit south of that you can see that wooden structure from the trailhead just so you know and uh, once you hit the trailhead and you've hiked for I don't know maybe two kilometers or so you're gonna see a big wide open area this is what it looks like. And right up here, this is Erg Mountain, this whole area up here. You're going to end up, the trail's going to go right around to the base of the mountain. You're going to hike up the mountain, and you're going to pop into a, a plateau up there, and you can hike right up to those peaks. That's, that's your goal, that area. But one thing that's important to note, when I was hiking through this area with my partner, we bushwhacked because we didn't find the trailhead. We came from the left, and we finally hit this open area. But we didn't know where we were going. We we're like, where is the trail? I knew this open area was somewhere near the trail because I had looked, you know, did some research before. Well, there's this little footpath here. It almost looks like tire tracks, but it's a single path. Follow this path, okay? Once you see this, this is the main trail. And if you start at the trailhead, it's easy to follow. Because once you get to the end of this clearing by the tree line there, it's very hard to see where the trailhead is you have to stick right over to the left and you'll see a ribbon in the trees and that's where the trail continues. Okay, so once you get into the, the trail where that ribbon is, you go for a number of kilometers, maybe two, three kilometers. Finally, you're gonna hit this part and you'll see here on the tree, it says Erg Mountain to the right. You'll see on the ground, there's another sign that says Tarmigan Creek and it points to the left. Um, so you want to follow the Erg Mountain Trail and when you see this sign, that's when the trouble begins. Uh, the the uh, elevation is very extreme and you're going to be hiking straight up the mountain for a good two hours, maybe three, depending on whether you're in good shape or not. One of the harder hikes I've ever done um, and we went at the end of September, today is September 27th, we went on the 26th. And when we went that time, this time of year, three quarters of the way up, there was already snow. It was hailing and the entire top area was completely covered in snow, but you'll see that in the uh, videos and pictures. Here's a close up of that Erg Mountain sign. All right, so what else is there to say about this trail? Um, Let's talk a bit about this. So again, once you get to the creek here, you'll find some logs. I think you can kind of see here, there's a log jam there, there's a log jam there. You cross over, hike downstream until you find the trailhead. It's gonna save you a lot of time. We were bushwhacking and all of this stuff. 
uh, and we didn't find literally we bushwhacked through all of this until we popped out here and it wasted a good hour or two maybe hour and a half so find the trailhead head up here once you get into the open area make sure you still follow the footpath this is a very wide area and pay attention and stick to the left you'll see here this is what I was talking about at the very end um, it's this big open area it looks like the path could go there it could go here no, it's here to the left. You'll see a ribbon in the trees and follow that over here. And it gets pretty cool here. The elevation here, Tarbigan Creek is down here and you're a good 30, 40 feet on the embankment here. And there's some nice viewpoints where you can look down and take some nice pictures. Plus uh, at some point you can see across the way here to these mountains and it looks pretty cool. All right, so right around here, you're going to see the fork where it says, you know, left is to Tarmigan Creek, right is Erg Mountain. And uh, I put some lines here showing distances. So this red line is from that sign that says this is Erg Mountain. And to get way up here, the distance is... 4.6 kilometers okay and that's like to the peak up here so to get to this first plateau it's about half so about you know two and a quarter kilometers once you hit this area here it's not too difficult anymore but to get to this plateau it's a whole lot of work but it's this is all I mean it's still gradually uphill but this is all fairly flat it's field um, what I did when I hiked was I went to this area right here and I sat here and took pictures of this bowl down here in the valley. I looked back here at the lake. This was all covered in snow and I just didn't have the energy to get up to here to look. I wish I had, but I just didn't have the energy with all the snow and I was freezing cold. Um, next time I'll get some better pictures. But you can see once you do summit, you know, there's some pretty nice views of the mountains around here looks really cool especially over here towards ptarmigan creek over to the left here right the erg mountains pretty high here and uh you know you're going to see a lot of nice mountain view there so that's my summary for this hike um, it was a long hike give yourself lots of time we started our hike at about eight in the morning um, and give yourself 10 hours you could probably do it in seven probably if you're in good shape but you want to make sure you get back before it's dark so bring headlamps and all that kind of stuff we did notice when we went up the trail and down the trail a few times we lost the trail we got you know kind of lost so you may have to bushwhack but just keep in mind you can still see sort of where the mountain peak is can see where the clearing is so as you go up you're always headed you can't go to the right here because it's a pretty steep drop off and there's a creek here on the left so you're kind of in between these two so you just head up this plateau eventually you'll hit the plateau the reason we lost the trail a few times was because at some important turns the pink ribbon wasn't there it was like a an, a yellow ribbon that looked like the same color as pine needles that turn yellow so it's almost camouflage so you really need to pay attention if you are walking you just notice ah, this doesn't look like the trail anymore backtrack to where the trail looks quite well worn and look around carefully to see where it turns there was one part of the trail when we were going up here where the trail kind of turned to the left and we went to the right eventually we made our way and found the trail again and uh, anyways, I will show all the videos and pictures and hopefully this helps you and have a great day.
Erg Mountain. The trails right over here is my partner with, what's your name again? I forget. Lucas. Lucas. Here's Ptarmigan Creek, huge drop off here, probably 30 feet, something like that. And uh, yeah, we are heading up the trail. Tarmigan Creek down there. Over here, one of our friends from the Prince George Hiking Club, or Facebook group, they have added a whole bunch of ribbons to ribbon off where to go when you take Tarmigan Creek. Not, not a well-traveled trail, but apparently there is a trail. So follow the markers, message me if you want information, I'll hook you up with the guy. Erg Mountain starts right here. Forks off to the right, and it starts going straight up from here. So, Ptarmigan Creek, one day we will see you. All right, here again on the York Trail, we are straight down Ptarmigan Creek. Ptarmigan Creek Trail goes up that way. Somewhere over there, I believe you cross. It's marked off and it goes down that valley over there. This is another creek over here. It goes up this way. We're heading up Erg. Really beautiful forest here on the Erg Lake Trail. A little stream running down. Kind of hard to see from here. Lucas, workhorse, trudging up. Whew, just catching my breath. Beautiful creek though. So the Erg Trail seems to follow this nice little creek tributary to the termigan. The Erg Trail crossing over a little creek flowing down Erg Mountain. So up here on some kind of plateau on the Erg mountain trail. You can see it's been hailing. Snow up here. Hail. So this could very well be one of the last hikes of the season. Soon there's gonna be a lot of snow up here. Thankfully it's flat here. Trail continues there. <laughs> September. Backtracking here. Went over to the uh, ridge, mountain passes there. Really cold up here and windy. Just heading into the brush cover. The sun is shining. Gorgi Oso. Loving it. All I can say is, dude, you're in trouble. You're not going to make it. It's snowing up here. 